how are you doing welcome to the channel my name is emma casey and today we have an unboxing from mary's diamonds and i'm so excited so this i just wanted to show you what kind of box that it came in when it came for delivery it took about nine days to get here i was so so impressed by that and um i just had to share it i really love and enjoy um unboxing um my kits my that that are my images um because it's fun to share and to advertise as well so you've got it in the mary's diamonds box it's really I, I love the branding of the box and it tells you all the details of how to diamond paint um and i just love the color difference in like the way the box looks it's so super cool so you've got your details there it says don't uh, share your magic with the world don't forget to tag us at mary's diamonds instagram and facebook so let's have a look at the image and this is wonderment so this is my first image that's been released with mary's diamonds um i really had a lot of fun designing this image sorry if the camera's a bit wobbly my table's quite wobbly um and the new owners are bella art and nicole so they've taken on mary's diamonds and they're doing such a great job um, they've been really working really hard so it's come in a protective dust sheet I've been watching the unboxings and getting so so excited I saw Diamond Painting by Donnie's unboxing and she did a round one of Wonderment so this one is the square one <clears throat> I can see a tray so this is a 3D printed tray. This is an essential Bella Art Dinner Cole tray. You can see it's got their logo on the end there. You can't really see it in this camera. So that's a cute little tray. And it's got nice high sides, which is easy for shaking. Um, so this dust sheet is really handy if you want to pack your diamond painting away. Let's get it all out. So it's a nice, it's got a nice sort of felt sort of soft um back in there's the drills there Ooh, look at the colors so um squares are resin i believe and the rounds are acrylic so each image they've got 10 images at the moment and they're around both available in round and square which is awesome and um yeah so the round version of this, I think, is two ABs, and this has four ABs, and both have three glow in the darks. Look, it's been rendered amazingly. Look at that; it's so lovely. So this is poured glue. So what I'm going to do is just fold it the other way. So that's you can fold it the opposite way with poured glue. Obviously, double-sided, you can't. I'm going to make a right mess of this, I can see. So I'm just going to do it roughly like this. Ooh. There we go, it will flatten out. So what we have here is a sticker sheet. Oh, we've got old bits and bobs there. So as you can see, it's got uh, Mary's Diamonds. Filling the gap between art and craft. So there's a really nice image there of it. Quite a nice big image. You could cut this out. You could have it as a stick on your table. You could put it in a log book. Can you see Bella Art de Nicole, which are the new owners of Mary's Diamonds down there? And it's got www.bellaartdenicole.com just down there. And they make amazing 3D printed trays and accessories, um, all sorts of things. So I will link that down below in the description as well. And then you can see you've got all the stickers there and you've got some spare ones there if you ever need them. And they're pre-cut, so it's really handy. So what I'm going to do is, because these come in bags already, I'm going to take these stickers and I'm going to pop them on the bag. And I may cut this out and actually put this on my desk, on my art table, which is like a slanted table that I use. Um, and just put loads of stickers, get a collection of stickers on there. But that's absolutely awesome and it's really nice like quality. So the tool kit, you can get it open, there we go, it comes in a bag, 
Um, so you've got some tweezers. Now I don't know if these come in the round ones as well. I can't remember. I'm not sure about that. Um, and then we've got a placer with a two or three placer at the end there. So the wide ones. And then we've got another placer here. We've got a couple of placers. So this one is a... I'm not sure what this one is, but it looks like a 10 or something. And this one may be a 6 or 7. And then we've got some washi tape. So the washi tape is random, but you do get it with every kit. So this will probably go quite nicely with this, with the greens. And then we've got a squishy. Where's my tray gone? Let me just find my tray. Where did I put it? I'll put it somewhere. So I wanted to show the tray again. Um, let me put those in there. So it's really nice that you get one of their 3D printed trays with the kit. I think that's a really, really nice touch. And what I've seen, this is not my idea, but what I've seen people do is you could also use the squishy, which is for your pen. You could also use that to go on the end of there to stop your drills from coming out. You could cut it like maybe the sideways like that and then just pop it in there like that. And then we've got some wax. So you've got everything you need for your kit. Um, my table's slanted, so it slides there so yeah you've got a really nice caddy so that's really handy because it keeps your wax dry you get three plates of wax blue wax so that's really handy and obviously when you're diamond painting make sure you pull each side off or, or one side and pop it in there it's easy to use so i love that okay so this kit has 54 colors um, so it's got a fair few colours. I love my colours. If you know me, you know I love my colours. I sometimes say this. Um, and I'm just... I was really surprised with the size of it because of, the, because of all the detail. I thought that it would be a bigger size. But this is absolutely perfect. It's been rendered really, really well. And it's hand charted. So someone hand charts it to make it sure it's as perfect condition, as close to the image as possible. Which is brilliant. And I love that um so yeah you can see like you've got the legend down here with all your numbers and stuff and it's got under at the bottom it's got wonderman and it's got license from emma casey and then the size down there and it's got bella Dana cole down there and it says mary's diamonds at the top um and it says share your love for mary's diamonds on social media hashtag mary's diamonds and then this is what really really made me really pleased was you've got the legend this way because you're working this way you've got the legend facing this way but you turn it round and you've got it facing the opposite way so this is really handy for me because i tend to often work one like down below and then or you know at the bottom of the canvas and then i turn it round to work the other bottom of the canvas which is what i'm going to do with this i should work one half of it and then the other half of it so that's a, such a good touch really really handy so my phone is charging at the moment but i couldn't wait to unbox it so i had to show you so what i'll try to do i'll try not to make too much noise with this phone is i'll try to get it back so you can see most of it you can see most of it in the camera so it's very squeaky so i do apologize if it did make a noise so this is like golds and it's like a gold purple sort of dragon so He's he's like um, sort of like a iridescence type sort of dragon so that when he moves like you see the golds and the purples and stuff. And I just love that co colour combination. And um, you've got some butterflies and the detail of the butterflies is absolutely amazing. They've done such a great job. I'm going to keep saying that. I'm sorry, but I'm really, really impressed. And then you've got your fly flies here. And obviously he's in awe and in wonderment of all the of nature and butterflies and things like that so let's get into the, the colors so i might turn this over so i hope i haven't missed anything out um if you have any questions please comment down below um because i'm trying to remember everything i know about this um kit and things like that and mary's diamonds so i oh wow yes so I sort of like envisioned um, when I'd like do images, I think about the the things that could come with that image, like 
the embellishments or ABs and things like that. And I did sort of vision yellow. So I'm really, really happy to see that. Um, and I love the coming baggies because I'm the type of person that prefers to work out bags. It's just easier, it's quicker. This painter's just going to want to keep moving under here. So, okay. So these are all the special ones I'm just taking out. They're all at the end here. Oh, and another thing I want to mention, and I think we can all agree on this, before I forget is that it's like one symbol one two symbol two three symbol three four and so forth up until about eight which I absolutely love so that makes the diamond painting easier as well um so really really pleased with that okay so I'm gonna get out the colors super quick I won't take too long so we can just see what types of colors that we have in this painting and they have the number on them but what I will be doing is labelling them so that I can just work out of them out of the bags. What do you prefer to do? Do you prefer to kit up or do you like working out of bags? It's always interesting to see people's opinions on that. The drills look fantastic. Really, really shiny. So we're going to have a few purples in here. So I'm just laying them down really quick because I don't want to take too long. Nice pinks, light green. Look at that. Can you see that? Lovely smooth backs. No knobbly bits. Right. A lovely bright green. Sometimes when you've been work been diamond painting for a long time, you can you can sort of roughly tell what number the colour is, can't you? So I'm just laying them out very quickly. Luna's trying to get on my lap right now. Some blues. A nice bright blue there. Come on then, Luna. I'm just going to pause a minute. And we've got some 550. I heard a lot of people like this colour. So what I'm going to do is quickly is show you the quality. Ooh. Such a cute little tray. Okay, so when you're shaking your tray, if you're not very good at it or you don't know how to do it, you just hold the end like that and you hold the sides. And you just give it a shake like that. So look at that. Just absolutely perfect. Really nice and shiny. And it shakes out so quickly and so easily. So I should definitely be using this for like the smaller colours. And then we've got some black. Seven. This nice light purple. Four hundred. Some red, nearly there. Small black. That's for the eyes, isn't it? Nice baby yellow. One five four. A couple of those, and then a one five two. Okay, so I changed the angle. Um, I've zoomed out. So when I zoom out, the the, the light, the flash um, torch goes off, which is really annoying. But you can sort of see it in its whole entirety now. Um, so let's have a look at the good. Let's get into the good stuff and look at these ABs. So first of all, we have this yellow one, which is four five, four four five AB. And it's got a really nice coating on it. As you can see, and we're going to see where these go in a minute. And then we've got some green. Just got some nice flecks of purple and green on it and a little bit of yellow. And then we've got this darker green. 
see i didn't realize that um the square has more ab's in it until i went to order it so that look at that that's a really nice one that's got lots that's like rainbow colors on that one really really nice that's 699 ab and then we've got the 996 ab very nice and these ones are the glow in the darks so we have three of these and you have three of these in the round kit as well um so there's that one obviously it's daylight now so i can't sort of see what they are like and then we've got this clear one be interesting to see where these go and then we've got this which one did i show you i can't even remember now so yeah you can see the light blue ones so it'll be really interesting to see what these look like okay so let's look to see where the glow in the darks are so the all the ab's and stuff like that that's down below here that shows you what's ab's and things um so we have the this one which is why what why one i think no 12 so it's symbol a which i'll show you on here because it's more clearer which is this one sorry yeah so that one so that is in this color here so this bright blue around there um around there 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 um let's see Seeing as the, the woods are in the butterfly, I don't think there's any in this butterfly. Oh, hang on a minute. Let me just check. No, that's E, so it's not in there. It looks a similar colour, but yeah, so it's there, and it's around there, here, and then I'm just seeing where else there a little bit down there that's what i can see so far and then we've got this blue one this darker blue one which is 27 that's symbol y which you can see there and that is in the butterfly here and then we've got load there 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 obviously i'm not going to show you where they all are because we'd be all day um and some over here a little bit in there and then we've got this clear one um which is symbol it's a tick symbol so that will be in here um a little bit in there so in the fireflies i think so it's going to look awesome in the dark. So yeah, in the white bits. And then the AB996, which is symbol... E. So that is up in that area. Um, i trying to think where else it can be. Yeah, in this butterfly... I'm going to be working this up um, as soon as I'm done with this video. I have a couple of dragons to do. So, yeah, and a little bit in there. Obviously, when it's done, I will show you where they all are. Um, 702, which is an, a little N. So that is around here, here. Yeah, that's around Trying to find some more. Around there. I don't want to take too long on there. And then we've got this dark one. So there's quite a lot of this one. So that symbol... I don't know what this, what you call this symbol. Just here. You can see that clear enough. There. Just like a triangle sort of thing. Around here, around here. A lot in the butterfly. 
some in the corner here, some here, in a lot of the greens around here, around there, there, some up here. Yes, so they're dotted about. And then I think the last AB, um, which is just a line, like a minus, just here. Oh, yes. Love it. All round here. This is what I've been... Yes, I'm really happy with that here. It's going to be so nice. Bring out the gold in the face. Very, very happy. There's some there. There. Absolutely brilliant. I'm so impressed with this. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. So, also, like I said, it's double so uh, double sided. It's poured glue. Where's my brain at? Um, and it's nice and sticky. Taking your finger away. The cut this is really nice and thick, so it's not going to like rip easily. So that's absolutely awesome. And you can see the drill field is super clear. Really, really nice and clear. So it's going to be so easy to read and. What I love about this is it's such a manageable size. It's not too big. Um, some of us don't want to work on huge paintings. So something this size is manageable and, you know, it wouldn't take long to do. So, yeah, there's something else I was going to say. I was really, really impressed with the rounds as well. Um, I love with the rounds that what I've seen um, where people have unboxed them is there's no harsh like training wheels or circles or anything and anything else like that i even when i was looking at it i thought is that round um because the drill field was it was just not you're not gonna have those harsh circles showing underneath your drills so, so i was really impressed with that as well so if i missed anything out or you've got any questions don't hesitate to comment down below and i'll help you to the best of my ability if you got this far thank you so much for watching and I'll please consider liking and subscribing. I really, really appreciate it. And I'll see you all soon in the next video. Take care, everyone. Bye.